Hey folks, welcome back. Welcome back to Paradise, I guess. This is what we're doing now. We are going to learn how to get chainsaw traps or something. I think chainsaw traps. Has this guy got a quest for us? I thought we spoke to him yesterday Someone's and finished been everything. Someone's looking for you. Uh, Mylen, I think. Wait, we, we did she that, right? talking about... Yeah, we, okay, we did. I'm, we, I'm sure we did that yesterday, but anyway, that's fine. How's everyone doing today? Hope you're good. Hope you're still enjoying this game. I know a few of you left some comments in the videos. Uh, just saying how you're getting on, base building and figuring things out, which is awesome. And I hope that the videos that I've put up have been a, a little bit of help to you. Because <laughs> we have just figured things out as we've gone. One of the cool things, though, is that now that we have, like, we have a lot of extra power, we've got basically 6,000 watts to, to play with for building a base. So we can absolutely just fill this area in with traps or move these forward, perhaps. We're going to see what we get anyway. I'm sure there's going to be more things to uh, to fend off around here. We've got, have we got quests over here? What? Have we? No, that's a sign. Oh, I need to go and speak to No Name. He didn't flash up, did he, yesterday? I don't think he flashed up as a quest to do. And yet I do have a feeling we were supposed to go back and talk to him. Let's go and start ourselves over there. We have our new weapons to enjoy. Do I have enough ammunition? Yeah, I've got 4,000 rounds of ammunition. I think that should be enough. I hope. Oh, hang on. Where's our chat gone today? Let's just get that out and ready so I can see what you fantastic people are saying to me. Not very much at the moment, as it turns out. <laughs> right. Let's load this up. Oi! Don't you hate that when you alt-tab out of a game and then you click to get back into it and it just triggers the weapon? It did that in Grounded as well, I think. So we have a quest over in the swamp, but I want to go and see... Oh, let's take some Twinkies back. That's, that's okay. I want to go and see what this guy has to say. Because this might give us the clue as to where to get into this blue warehouse that we spent a little bit of time looking for yesterday. Not too much, thankfully. We didn't waste a lot of time on it, but uh, it would have been nice. I thought I changed that. I thought I changed my cactus juice over. Right then, off we go. It's going to be a shorter stream today, by the way, folks, because I'm off to see the, the new Dune movie later today. And so we'll, we'll finish about 4.30 and uh, I'll go and get ready to go and see that, which I'm really looking forward to. I've watched part one again, just to get some, not practice, but, uh, you know, just get a refresher of the, the plot and the story and the characters and everything. Never read the books, although people say the books were great, but I did play the original video games back on Amiga and then on PC, June 1, which is kind of like a role-playing game, and a role-playing slash adventure game. I don't know what you call it, actually. Story-driven. It had all sorts of elements of strategy and stuff in it, too. And then, of course, there was Dune 2, the classic uh, real-time strategy game that possibly every real-time strategy game ever since has copied. Because I think Dune 2, I'm pretty sure Dune 2 predated Command & Conquer. Oh, there's the guy. Okay. He's in a box. What do you want to say? Oh, it moves. Nice. I have a mission for you, if you want one. Upper Smith has built a super Zombod prototype. It must be destroyed. It's left a trail. Search around to find it. Okay, we get some bone... No, aluminium arrows. Okay, metal bolts. Does it say where to go? Right, okay. So there is a bit of a trail for this, and I guess... Let me see if we can get out of here. Let's put a torch on. I think it's just south of here. I wonder if this is going to lead us to the elusive blue warehouse. Oh, hello. Monsters everywhere. Yeah, we've we've respect our our. Oh, he's one of ours now. We've respect our zombies, haven't we? So we're now focusing on melee damage for them. This rifle is not as accurate as the air rifle. 
I am convinced of it. The shotgun has longer range, though. Boom. Oh, he's one of ours. <laughs> I better be careful with blasting that off like that. Hey, Tom, how's it going? You've been told many times by a mutual friend that Command & Conquer was meant to be a Dune game originally. Really? I didn't know that. What? What? The, what? I'm not going in there. That looks that looks nasty in there. We'll leave that one out, I think. Yeah, June 2. Back in the day. You could play as House Atreides. You've had to, it, it was like Can and Conquer. You send your spice harvesters off to harvest fields of spice, which obviously would bring in money that you could then upgrade the army and build the base and get better stuff. And uh, yes, worms could go and attack them. You used to have to keep a lookout for worms and get your spice harvesters off the sand if the worms were about. And if you played as House of Trades, you had you could call in the Fremen as their late game special troops, I think. And House Harkonnen had this basically had this like cruise missile. I can't remember what they were called, Death Hand missiles or something like that. That you could launch from the other side of the map. And there was House Ordos, which was sneaky sneaky stealthy sort of um backstabby type of uh house i can't remember what they got they were less about the big damage and big armor and and more about um stabbing you in the back basically hello what's this the forklift has been plundered the zombots looking for mechanical parts there are more trucks to the north they must have been picked over too you should go there and take a look Marja Koton, hiya, how's it going? Welcome to the stream today. So we've got to go back into here. Find the trucks around the warehouses. Okay. So it's the orange warehouse we're not, we need to get into. We've already got the blue one. Got it. Hmm. Let's see. Can I line a shot up on those two? Boom. Oh, I'm still on the shotgun. That was terrible. We need... I feel like I... I always feel like I need better weapons. Every time you get an upgrade, it seems awesome for about one level. And then you think, okay, <laughs> the enemies have leveled up in relation to this, so I need something better. I mean, the rifle's quite good. It is an upgrade on the air rifle. But I feel like the accuracy is not as good on moving targets. That's the only difference I can tell. Oh, are we? can we not get around this? This is going to make me... Um, there's no way out the bottom of this place either, is there? If I go in there... I don't think we can just get out the bottom. Chase him off. My massive gang of zombies. Let me see if there is a way out there. I think I'm about to fight off more than I can bloody chew here. Mm, <laughs> no. Oh, we got a large pump though. So that means we can upgrade one of the weapons. There was one that I didn't have the bits for, wasn't there? Well, that's that's fixed now, so that's cool. But I was right, there is no way out of here. It, it seems. Hang on. It seems. Unless we can get around the back of this. Is that a possibility? Can we not go out through these? No, we can't. Because this is a dead end. And that would be a door there, but it's not going to let us. Okay. Still, it was worth coming in for that. We shall charge out of here. Oh, hello. Yeah, this, this warehouse area is... Is that another one? 
It's a table set, and we don't know what we use the table sets for yet, but we've picked up a lot. Now, the, the game doesn't seem to have cosmetic things for camp, so I'm pretty sure we're not supposed to set out a table. I don't think it's for that. What's going to be the quickest way in? Uh, either. Either works. I still think if I go through here, I will eventually get a key out of there, you know, for this orange place. If I go through enough of those chests, one of them will eventually drop me the key. Oh, God. What are those guys armed with? Are they armed with chainsaws? What are they armed with? I can't get in there anyway, it's the orange one. That might be a new weapon in there. It might be the shotgun, but it looks like it's potentially a new weapon. Wait, have I been up there? I don't think I've been up there. Where's, where did we get into this one? Did you see that massive set of stairs? Right, let's go in. Where's the where's the where's the door? Where's the button? There it is. Come on, let's go. Can't get in. Are they behind something? I think they're behind something. Oh, it's... Where's he going? Die. I can't aim at that. Poor old zombie. Actually, it's... That is so annoying. I need to, I need to switch too. No, he goes into that spin. I need, quick, I need, I need the claws of death. There. Dance that one up. Goddamn things. My other guy should have... There, they both revived. Nice. Let's go and beat this up. Have I actually been through here? I don't know if I have. This was the stairs I was looking for. Can I shoot them from here? Apparently not. I can hit that thing though, so that's... That's, that's sweet. Oh, is that all that does? Then yes, I have been in here and I do recall that. Oh God. It's Dirty Harry with his Magnum 44. <laughs> I'm nearly dead. No, you're not coming to kill me, you sneaky shit. It won't. He can target me a lot faster than I can target him. Get rid of that. Hey, Rock, how's it going today? I do like the uh, the claws. They are good. They look lovely. Right, my idiots are stuck on the stairs again. Can I not beat my way through this? Yeah, I think I'm done in here, aren't I? Unless, well, there's something up here. Did I go up this one? You, you're kidding me, it's just like another dead end. Oh no. 
All right, there's nothing in this, this place at the bottom there, no? All right, after all that. I thought it looked like we'd found somewhere new. And I thought, oh, we'll get that orange key. Fantastic. But nope, it is not to be. Let me switch. Actually, I better, I'll better i keep the claws on. And we'll go for the, uh, the old rifle here. Zombot needs a hacking helmet. Really? Again? I get tired of crafting these things, you know. I haven't, I haven't really got enough. There is a thing. There is a skill you can pick up where eventually you don't need hacking helmets anymore. And that one will be gratefully welcomed. Fresh. The oil hasn't even dried yet. It's got to be close. There's a warehouse nearby. You're almost there. I thought I said barbed wire for a minute. I think, oh yeah, I need some of that. Has this thing got 50 rounds in it? Well, that's quite the upgrade. It has more rounds in the single-shot rifle magazine than in the flipping machine gun magazines. You know, the game developers have... I think the automatic weapons in the game are absolute garbage, all of them. There's not a single one that i found that's actually been fun to use. And that's just not right. I mean, don't get me wrong, the single-shot rifle and air rifle have been fun to use. But... Um, it's not like cooking off rounds with a machine gun. Now that's really fun. But in this game it isn't. It, it should be, but it isn't. Uh, I can't see what we're looking at here. You okay just doing dad stuff? My kids are at the age now where I can get away without doing too much dad stuff. They can look after themselves. Mostly. Until I need a taxi somewhere. It's like, Dad! <laughs> Alright, where do you want to go now? Oh. Right, what are we looking for here? I really do despise trying to work my way through these areas. Because you, you can't see very well. Like that, I couldn't see. There's a zombie there. The torches aren't great. Their lantern armor didn't work very well yesterday. Boomerang makes you feel like Batman. It's a good melee weapon as well. I might have to try that again, Beluga. I haven't... don't think I've got a current upgraded one. Let's have a look. So what am I looking for in here? No, I need to go and talk to the guy. Is he about to say, it's not there? Let's go and check another warehouse. Repeat, ad infinitum. Here he is. He's brought his box as well. Great job. Ivy Upper Smith's plans won't succeed, thanks to you. Is that it? We got Metal Bolt. Is that it? Right, so it's just, just a quest then. Huh. I was I was kinda of disappointed at that. I thought that was gonna lead on to like some massive epic boss fight against some like robot zombie. Down here, let's go let's go travelling elsewhere. The chemical plant. I think we're going off to the swamp, actually. 
I could go and hand the Twinkie in. That's Pedro's knives. Yep, it's to the swamp. Let's go. So this is a new quest line, I think, that's given us. And before long, it should send us out into some new areas, I think. As, uh... Oh, we need to go and find chainsaws. I can't remember which area. Chain... I mean, I, can I not have... Oh, they're just regular flamethrowers. I thought these were like proper flame traps they were building here. Your friend has disappeared. I can't find her anywhere. I bet she's headed for the snowy steps. Okay. Cowards. All of them. Now she's left me with all the farm work to do. I like how she's got a trowel for one hand. The perfect gardening attachment. Oh, we need to speak with Lady Tamer as well. Is this another wild animal quest? I'll just get this, even though we have no recipe for it at the moment. I can't shoot through a rope bridge side. It's... 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 It's maddening. Right, let's go and get this. You there with the hair. Hmm. <laughs> Always with the hair. I saw a heron get swallowed up. Charismatic car is somewhere around here. Someone needs to get rid of him. If you're brave enough, your weapons workshop could be further improved. Now that sounds Your charismatic car out of the mud. I trained him to listen to little bells. Your zombot could do the job if you make it loud enough. Okay, we get a black powder grinder. Industrial coffee grinder repurposed to get people to fall asleep rather than wake up. I haven't had a coffee today. I could do with a ground black coffee. Uh, Kawa, hi there. It's, uh, it's English only in the chat, please. Partly because... Uh, I, I can't speak any other languages, but also because then it's uh, just so everyone can join in. Uh, we're looking for... Zip a, equip a Zombot with the bell gear. Do I do the chainsaw one? Yeah, I want him doing the, the power attack with that. I don't know if that mace is any good. It does say it's better against buildings. I'll take it off the shredder. And we'll put the zombie bells on. And we're looking for... Send the zombie to the totem pole. Just to the north of us. I feel like I probably don't want to be stuck in this mud, right? Oh, that totem pole? Okay. Go on. The guy with the bells isn't using them. Uh, is he not set to use out of combat? Okay. There we go. We've got something going on. Daughter's a little sick today. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Rock. Sore throat, a little fever, so it's soup and rest for the day. No score. Absolutely right. Oh, I hope she's feeling better soon. The hell was that? Oh, it's a snake. Okay. Charismatic car. Hang on. Isn't that, uh, isn't that a play on... Is it the Jungle Book character? What was a snake called in the Jungle Book? Well, the rifle seems to be like chewing through this guy. I don't even have to need to move, which is brilliant. That suits my play style completely. Oh, hello. Oh, I might need to move a little bit. Is he gone? He 
He's calling zombies. Hang on, I'm stuck in the mud. Ouch. Ouch. Ooh, okay. So the mud's not a great place to be in. I nearly got him. I nearly got him on the first go. Reload. We're going back for that. How far away is he? Who's? What? Um, yeah, Mark, that wasn't, that wasn't very smart, was it? Ah, you can't reach me. You can't reach me. I'm too quick for you. <laughs> Maybe I'm better off in the mud, actually, rather than getting stuck on those sidewalks. I mean, this long-range rifle is amazingly awesome. Where's he coming? Oh god, that's, that's not what we wanted. Haha, -ha, you can't reach me, you fat. I'll say no more. You got carried away there. Oh, hello. <laughs> I have a 303 round in the face. He nearly got me. Oh, I'm stuck in the mud. Hang on. There he goes. Got him. Kill charismatic car. So the mud adds an element of uh, danger there. 157 black powder. What's he been eating? Black powder, obviously. Resident Evil 1 feelings about the snake. Never played Resident Evil 1. And actually, I've never played any Resident Evil game for that matter. It's me! Thank you, I'll take that uh, 200,000 XP back. Aren't they remaking some more Resident Evil stuff? Let's go hand this in. I like how the mud works in this, the swamp stuff. I have been growing up on a farm in North Yorkshire. I plodged around bits like that as a kid. Mud that came all the way up to your knees. And sometimes Excellent. all the way up to your chin if you Take fell this. over in it. I'll go find my other animals before they create more havoc. I'd say that was maybe the easiest of the three. Although the... Um, she got another one. Oh, it's a sign. It's just to repeat the fight. Where do I need to go next? I need to go... Okay, so I need to go to the outpost at the top. Let's fast travel there. I'd say the elephant was possibly the hardest of the three animals I've fought so far. Probably because I came across it first. And it was fast and had a had a had like an air of effect attack. The snake was quite easy once you saw its pattern. I think we got the giraffe on the first attempt, didn't we? So maybe that wasn't too tough. Right, let's go see what awaits us in the frozen north. I think this is where we need our cold resistance stuff. I haven't got any zombie armor that would help. Oh, we don't need bells on anymore. The bells can come off. You can have your... What? Shredder. Shredder was quite good. So we're looking for Kate out here then. And we instantly come across a massive base. Yeah, we have. Okay. Hang on. Oh, that's, that's one of mine. That's okay then. Uh, is he going at it with a hammer? He sounds like he's got a chainsaw on. I thought we'd equip that. 
Oh, one's got a chainsaw, one's got a hammer, haven't they? Notice the scenery glitching out like mad at the top. It's raving out. Common mace. What was that? Common revolver. Oh, I see. I see. We can't just... We've got flame traps here. Is there a way into this place then? Is there a guy there to kill? Right, let's get rid of that. They're in the chest in here, is there? Hi, T both. The damage is nice. The rifle damage is. I mean, it shot sees one in one go, as most things tend to, but. The guy with the chainsaw is doing quite well. Fantastic range, you see that? 14k damage on that one. The further it is, and the less they can see you, the more damage the rifle does. Actually, I think I was probably going to say that um, the same goes for all the different uh, ranged weapons. But if they don't see us, if they're off the edge of the screen, I've noticed it does a load more damage. Ow, don't you shoot me. Why can't I target that one? There we go. Are we in? Put your gun down, sir. I suppose I'd better bandage up before this goes shit. There's Jeff with the chainsaw. I don't see a chest in here yet. <laughs> God, poor sod didn't even get off the ground. It's nice that I can just blast my way straight through a, a wall in two shots. We have got it yet. A zombie's going mad with a chainsaw, it's awesome. Right, what have we got? We're going to have a load of stuff to scrap. And I actually do feel like we're going to need some scrap at this point in the game. Oh, there's the chest. I see it now. We are overloaded. That is fine. What do we get? That was my bad, I let go of the button. Snowy steps, left leg armor. That sounds like an improvement. Slacker George, thank you for two months. That is very kind of you, thank you, and greatly appreciated. I'll put it towards my popcorn fund for the cinema tonight, because you know cinemas are like, uh, the cost of the popcorn is more than the tickets, usually. I think at our local one, it might be different though. Uh, let's see, what can I? Inventory armor. So we have this is 12 armor for the left leg. It's an improvement and it's got a cold resistance, so we need to start equipping the cold resistance armor, I think. Thanks, George. Yep, I, uh, I definitely appreciate that. All my subs, members, followers, subscribers, viewers, everyone, it's, it's all great support. It's, uh, it's awesome. Sometimes just watching the videos and streams, clicking on them, clicking like, sharing them. Sometimes that's that's the best support, but uh, all the subs and members on YouTube, of course, that is that is awesome too. Helps me carry on making videos and making streams, and long may it continue. Right, so I am going back around this place. Let's just it's just a oh a nice nice big skull and crossbones. That's cool. Uh, let's scrap all the extra stuff. Good chunk. Oh, I'm still heavily overloaded. But what with? Flamethrowers weigh a ton, don't they? Yeah, I don't need to carry a flamethrower or a common revolver. We've got the... Oh, I need to put that back at base, I think. We've got quite a bit of ammunition. I don't think I need a common mace. Actually, I shouldn't throw those... I Actually, I can throw those away because we've got upgrades of those, so they're fine. And it says we've got an upgrade of the common mace. Have we? Because I don't remember building it. Maybe I've got one. DPS, 
1400. That sounds like a lot. Oh, I, I might need to have a swing with one of these, actually. Ignore that stuff. Let's try it on this. Yep. Hmm, it does indeed seem to do a lot of damage against buildings. That's quite impressive. Right, one of the zombies gets the lantern, because I would like to be able to see what I'm playing with here. I'll try and find someone to hit in the face with this hammer. It suggests I've upgraded it and maybe left it at the base. Looking at that symbol. What the hell? Oh. I thought that thing was going to come for me. What is it? A It's goat horns, meat and leather. Is there anything over here? Well, there might be something secret. Are we back in the swamp? Are we really? It suggests we haven't explored this bit then. Right, well that's a dead end. This is a base full of baddies. We're going in. It's still quick to shoot through it with the... Actually, I can't, sh I can't go through that. Oh, these are indestructible walls, are they? Until we get it down. Now we can go through these guys. Yes, okay, I see. So that mace can actually destroy the indestructible walls that we need zombies to blow up. That's awesomely cool. And the chainsaw looks like it can get through them as well. This is where we need to be. I need to pick up the chainsaws here. Anyone left in there? Common spear. I need a load of chainsaws from someone. I think I can shoot the gate so can I? Yeah, I can shoot the gate, so that's okay. Oh, he's got a shotgun, the cheeky sod. I guess we're going through this a bit at a time. Come on, then. <laughs> The rifle is just amazing. This feels like it's got every type of zombie. Can we not go through that one? I, can we go through... Well, the chest's in here, so... Oh, I'm going to go through both of these. And I'm going to get the loot at the end. I see there's more things to kill over there. And we're in! Do that one. Nice. Can't tell what they're what they've got. Can we get it? I think we got it. What is that? Is that the flames? Right, we haven't got that design, have we? I need that one for our base, that'd be, that'd be awesome. 
Right, there's a there's a chest of sorry, there's a room of spikes and death here. I need to know if it's worth going into. Uh, it looks like we're not finished. Come on, guys. Guess we left that generator there. Having difficulty. I can't seem to swing my sodding hammer at it. Right, let's say that's done. Let's go back and get all the loot. So, I'm going to say a golden knife. Is there a golden knife in there? Yeah. That's a skill point. And what do we get in here? Armor? Uh, it is indeed. It's some snowy armor. Nice. Cool, we got some some cool new stuff there. And then we got overloaded. But that was worth going back for. So let me go and fix this up. What have we got? We've got the chest armor, 18. And the chemical plant armor is just heavy armor. Right leg. Uh, it looks good. It looks good, does this? So our armor's going up. Cold resistance is up. Looking nice so far. I appreciate this. This is some nice new stuff. We haven't had a... I've never felt like the armor upgrades have been that meaningful through most of the game. So it's nice when we come to an area and we actually start finding stuff pretty quickly that we want. What are they doing? Right, let's trash all the extra machetes and things. Nice. Level 40. Let's have that spent straight away. What were we going up? We were going up for the we were going up for the free army, weren't we? So these are on I don't want the multitasker. I don't want any more of those. Uh reload for the zombie weapons, maybe. That just heals himself. I'm gonna take That's revive time. I'm gonna take some self medication. And they can plus 30% heals per second, which will it will self-heal them a bit faster and might keep them in a fight longer. And then we'll go for reloads, I think. Hey JD, how's it going? Whoa. I should have had the shotgun on for this. Only I'd known. The Zombot needs a hacking helmet. They are going through an insane amount of hacking helmets. I can't build them fast enough. I mean, before long, I won't need to. But even so. Are we off for ammo? Plenty. Tempted to go back and upgrade the base already, the, the weapons workshop, but I don't think we've got any new recipes. Mm, it's still selling me just to explore this area, so uh, we'll go a little bit, bit further. Right, I've got enough for another five of those, and... Another 17 of those. It's using up all the scrap. My own personal army of zombies. Oh, that was all the stuff I chucked away. I don't want to pick that up.
Who's left in there? It's, it can't track the moving one, look. Yeah, I'm sure the air rifle would hit those shots. But uh, this proper rifle, full bore rifle, I should probably give it its correct name, uh, doesn't seem to hit those moving targets. I'm sure the air rifle did most of the time. Where are we? Well, there's an area off around there I can explore, but I mean, it's not part of the quest. Well, there's the snowy area. Oh, hang on. There she is. How does she get here with no arms? That dreadful Milene is horrid. I don't blame her husband for leaving. I tried to get to a better place, but my wheels got stuck. Pushed me to a hot spring before I freeze to death. I have some information you might want. It seems to me, in the perilous state of health that you currently are in, that it might be better if you divulge that information before we visit the hot springs, in case you do not make it, or sadly drown. Wouldn't that be a shame? Let's just pretend those zombies aren't there, shall we? Nope. What? She, did you see that? She walked into the middle of all that. Right, mace. Get rid of the mace. The mace is, is not doing it now. I need the pump action. There we go. That's why we have a shotgun. <laughs> Let's go and pick up the extras here. I need all the black powder to, to recreate the bullets that I'm using to save her ass again. In fact, her ass is the one thing that hasn't been amputated by the looks of it. Hey Phil, come to smash your light, but can't wait to see St. McCracken's in action. Um, I'm gonna, re I'm hopefully gonna record the next episode of that tonight, and it should be out tomorrow lunchtime. If everything goes to plan and my timings go right, I'm a bit tight on time tonight. So if for some reason, say if the game crashes halfway through, which I don't think it will do, it's pretty stable, or anything like that, or I forget to turn the recording software on, I only have one shot at it. So uh, hopefully that'll be up tomorrow. Yeah, the next adventures of the Union Army. It is a crossroads we're fighting for next. Am I going the right way? I am. Paradise Hot Springs. What a horrible thing we'll be living in here, do you think? Do you think they'll get the second star today? We'll see. As long as I manage them well and I don't throw them into any sort of horrific place. Borage. That's a new plant. Oh, let me just... Actually, I've just abandoned. I just realised. Idlevice. I've just abandoned her. We'll go and access this first. Is that a friendly chappy over there? It's Nicholas Klaus's shack. It's Santa Claus. Wait. Where did I leave her? I brought her in here, I'm sure. I, th I think she must have walked back out there. Okay, you have a good Friday too, Phil. And I will uh, I'll hopefully see you on that video tomorrow. Uh, for those of you not sure what we're talking about, I've got a series on the Let's Play channel going on at the moment um, where I'm playing Ultimate General Civil War. 
as the Union. I love the American Civil War. Any, any historical game about that is, is going to be a hit with me. And uh, I've named the brigades after some of you guys who watch the videos. So it's, it feels like there's a little bit of incentive there for me to, to look after my troops Come in that game. Strangers? Oh, oh, oh. Come on, take shelter. Do tell me more. Do you think I'm supposed to go and tip her into there? Is there a ramp up to it? No, it's got steps. Well, I can't talk to her. Or him. Oh, take a dip to warm up. Why do I feel like this is going to be some sort of trap? Let's have a drink. Enjoy your warm bath. They don't look like they enjoyed it. Bob's archives C-83-9, the peaceful farmer Zombot. Open the camp pylon configuration menu. Equip your Zombot with a fogger and a bag of seeds. Why Enable fogger? Hide, use, and collect commands both while in and out of combat. It's clicked on. Switch to expert mode. You'll need to use modules. Assign the enemy close module to the hide command and the no enemy nearby module to the use and collect commands. Right. Why do I need to go to this length of effort? And that's it. This hardworking Zombot has courage while working your fields. But not in the battlefield. So it hides so it doesn't get hurt. That's fair enough. But where I've got them set up, they don't get attacked anyway. And they're, they're producing infinite carrots for my generator. So I'm not quite sure why I need to do go to the lengths that they've just described there. Hmm, weird. Hey, Dave. You've enjoyed these walkthroughs and just bought the game. Oh, nice. I hope you enjoy it. The game has, has uh, turned out to be... Surprisingly better than I expected, and I've enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. So when I played the demo of it, I thought this is fun, but let's let's it can't it won't hold out for the entire game. But yeah, I have enjoyed it. It's it's been a good one. You took your time. I'm not there yet. I hope everything's okay. We're going to an ice hotel north of here. There's a rocket part on the way. I suggest the same arrangement as the other day. Push me there, and I'll tell you all I know. Do you hmm. see how my wheels slip in the snow? We need to attach some skis to my chair so we can get around in this area. Ask that crackpot who thinks he's Santa. He must know what's around here. You used to watch me in the World of Tanks days. Take it, I don't play World of Tanks anymore. I have a look in occasionally, but I don't... Uh, I certainly have no intention of ever streaming it or making videos on it ever again. The man with the... Are we going to sing Santa Baby? Did I hear you mention skis? Ho, ho, ho. You've been a good child by helping your friend. So, the first ski is my gift to you. Yeah, it's all wrapped up in nice paper. But alas, the naughty local rascals tried to eat me raw. And I had to leave it behind me. If you find it, it's yours. And I'll look after your rascal friend while I wait for you to return. <laughs> As for the second ski... Well, you can surely find it near the old cable car. Ever since my elves went on strike and I started to rummage through the ruins, I've made some pleasant discoveries. Oh, while you're there, collect as many gifts as possible and bring them to me. Yeah, you have to dig through a bunch of them to find your skis, and I need to make sure they all find a nice home. <laughs> Christmas is coming. Ho, ho, ho! You see, he is the real Santa. He's carrying a Nerf gun ready to deliver to some, some young child looking forward to, uh, to fun and games, japes and shenanigans on Christmas Day. What was the other quest? Ho, 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 ho! Okay, I need to... Oh, that was the quest and I've just skipped through it. Oh, never mind. 
<laughs> the man with the bag and the bad luck. So we've got it. We're going north into the cold by the looks of this to find the old cable car, which is around there. All right. I might nip back. Oh, do you know what we haven't done? I'm going to tell you what we haven't done and we're going to go back and do it now. I'm going to dump a load of stuff off at, off at base as well. We haven't done this down here that we couldn't get to. It was it was right here as like a green gas splodge that would uh, kill us. So we're going back to base. Head back to the ward. We have a quest to hand in too, so we'll go and do that. Skis on the wheelchair. What could possibly go wrong? Skis on the wheelchair and my suggestion... A rocket booster on the back and just vroomf, it'll be like a um, snowmobile it'll go it'll be brilliant a rocket sled straight out of the Wiley Coyote Acme catalog excellent allow me to present to you the saw wall with this even the zombies will start to fear the afterlife I've forgotten about that we've got the saw trap Why is there no zombie on the wheel? Okay, let me see what this looks like. As we uh, we head on, the saw trap is... Oh, we need to upgrade the weapons workshop. This. How does... Oh! Yeah, I don't know how this is going to work, actually. I've, I've attached it onto the end of one of those. I think our base needs a bit of a redesign. If there's going to be another base defense, we're going to redesign the traps and stuff on the way in because it's... I don't know. It's not really working at the moment. Right, upgrade this. And what can we now build? Is there anything new? We can build the rare mace. I'm going to build it because it's the next one up. We don't have the recipe for the one after, though, do we? What's that? Oh, it's a mythical air pistol. I thought that was something new. Let's split this up because I can't see everything here. We actually have the mythical claws. We don't need to build that one. Uh, so that one's okay. So we just got a, a new mace. It looks like it does a lot of damage, but not so much against enemies. And any new guns... We've, got the, we've already got the mythical air rifle. There was, I swear, there was a new pump action gun that we could build. A level 39. We need wire. I don't actually know where we get wire from. But there's two levels. Okay, so if we get wire, then we can upgrade the bow twice to level 43. Actually, we're not level 43 yet, so we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves there. But we need a lot of wire. So we've got two upgrades there. And I think that's it, isn't it? There's no gun. No, there isn't. I could do this now. This is the legendary shotgun. We have the rare... Do we have the rare one? It's level 40. It looks like... It looks like this one. Let's craft the legendary. Nice. One legendary shotgun. Oh, there's a level 43 epic rifle. We're a bit too early for that one yet. Oh, that's okay. We can make any number of those because they just require the, the common ones. Interesting. We have the rare revolver. That will be the epic revolver. Hang on. What does the rifle need? Doesn't need the air pump. I guess we craft that then. And then we craft that one. The legendary revolver. Right. I need to try some of these out because I've not been using... I've not been overly impressed with some of those. I think we've left the air guns behind now. I think we're done with them. I know the mace looks good, doesn't it? Oh, sorry, folks. I've missed a few messages here. Hi on gaming. Crafted grenade, but it does not show inventory. Ah, okay. I haven't crafted those. Have I spent the skill point? I did. Okay. They're in the weapons ones, are they? Nope. Must be in this one. Okay. I haven't gone up to the crafting tree, unfortunately. Uh, hmm. You'll have to let me know if you get that working. Sorry, I, I don't know what to say about that. It just says, allows you to make and use them. Time to revive. Do you... 
Are they under consumables? And then you'd assign them to one of these slots, which are your five buttons down here. I honestly don't know. You, you've probably tried these things, but I'm just throwing out some ideas. Oh, what have we got? Someone coming in. Let's try out our brand new... Where is it? The common shotgun. Uh, I don't need you. And I don't think I need an electromagnet gun. I don't need 14 spears. I would like to try. That says we can upgrade the machine gun. I didn't see an upgrade for it. And the legendary revolver. Maybe we can, but we maybe shouldn't at the moment. Oh, it's automatically equipped the shotgun because I had it before. Right, let's have a look. Right, let's see what these what this does to these guys coming up through here. Yep. Boom. Well, I mean, it's it's always going to just destroy them in an instant, isn't it? Uh it seems okay. I don't think it has the range of the other thing, but and I also got the the massive mace put on. I've got to try hitting something with this. But we need to find some proper enemies to see what it can do to them. The legendary shotgun. I like the I like the look of this. Right. We need to well, let's go and do this this uh, chest of gas down here. This is probably something that we don't need by this stage in the game. Oh god. Well, the shotgun would have been far better suited to that job. Pick up all the crap. Was it not up here? I thought it was up here. No, there is... Oh, no, it's not a chest. It's one of those things from Bob. And what about this up here? This is... The isolated paradise camp. Stone. We haven't got a reason to collect stone. And as far as I know, we've never had a reason to collect stone. But that being said, we should probably pick it up. Alright, this wasn't the thing I came for, but this is some extra loot, so we're going to take it. Oh, so in my opinion, explosive ammo is the best. Do you know what? I haven't tried any yet. We need to craft it, don't we? That does sound like it's going to be the most fun. Has that got nothing in it after all that? I'm guessing it was like a, a special thing and we got it once and we can't have it again. Yeah, I, I still prefer my shotgun and my rifle to everything else. The rifles... Whoops, not that one. Get rid of that. I think there's a chest below with the green gas. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. Now that I've got those, those um, shredders, we can blow that gas away. Uh, whoop. Repair the breach? No. Hang on. Shotgun time. There we go. That's why we play with a shotgun. <laughs> Don't go running in, guys. What you need is one of those. Now go running in. Right, let's see what this is. This has to be one of Pedro's golden knives, right? I think that's what it is. Yep. We need to go and see him, actually, because there's a skill point for free there. So we'll go and hand in at the, the camp. Get rid of the stuff. Let me out of the way, you idiots. So that's, that's the only one I've seen hiding behind a, a green chest of stink so far. Don't think there's anything else. I'm going to repair this.
Let's get the guys out on the other side. And then interact. Oh, I don't have the stuff. <laughs> of all the times I carry so much of that garbage around with me. And the one time I actually want it, I don't have it. That is, that is just me. Right, back to base. Hand in. And then off to see Pedro. Actually, there's another quest back at the base. I wonder if he's going to get the next level of traps. What does he want now? You know what's sure to work against zombies? I mean, aside from thrusting half a tree through them, cutting them in half at the waist, or running a 50 kilo axe between their ears. That's right! Fire! Let's create a pyro lever. I know there are incendiary devices in the warehouse that this key opens. Uh... Once you find them, take a good look and then come back here and tell me how they work. Which key? The orange warehouse key. I wouldn't have thought it came from this, this guy here. We, we nearly wasted a lot of time looking for that. Uh, that's okay, actually. You can keep on with that weapon. That's that's fine. Let me stash this here. So, let me see what we can drop off. I No, I'll keep the mace. I don't really need these with us, but I, I will keep them with us. The epic machine gun. I'm tempted to leave here because uh, I don't think I have a use for it. Let's leave it here. And the revolver as well. And the comp, the crossbow. I'll keep the bow, because I do use that. We definitely want the armor putting in here. Ammunition. Consumables. No, that's fine. And I wish there was a way of, of, of highlighting like so much of this and just moving it all at once. It would speed life up massively. Leather, let's do one of those, and nails, and barbed wire, which I don't think we need anymore, and horns. There should have been some meat somewhere. I got uh, mountain goat meat, or whatever it was, goat meat. There it is. Can I drop them on the floor? Oh, not from this screen. I could disassemble them. But that takes longer. Right then, it is back to... Uh, Pedro first? No. No, we won't do Pedro first. We'll do Pedro next. We're going for the... Find the warehouse. We know exactly where the damn warehouse is. Thank you very much. To the warehouse. This gets us the fire traps for the next level of base defense, I would guess. I'm sure there'll be another boss coming to trash our base at some point. All right then, come on. Let's go get this done. And to think, I, I nearly went in to redo all those blue warehouses to try and get that key. That would have been so annoying. Right, which one is it? It is. It's right here. I think we can go in either end. Right then. What is in the orange warehouse? Okay. Flamethrower, guys. Common flamethrower. <laughs> Not letting him get away. I will pick up the rubbish this time.
sometimes. Oh, oh that's one of them. I thought that was our guy. It's brutal around here. I can't see. I need to destroy this, but I can't see it. Kill him. We found the warehouse. Apparently. Pretty sure we oh. Are you? You're not one of us, are you? This is a problem when all the enemies also look like all the friendlies. I'll take care of these guys. So I can shoot those pylons at a distance. It's hard to aim at them because we're on the inside of a wall and can't get the camera around for it. Very odd. Well, I should be able to kill him, right? Help! I'm getting flamethrowed in the face here. Q, activate. Interact. There we go. We've worked it out right. Um, help. It's not seems to be, doesn't seem to be doing much. I'm stuck on this thing now. I am literally stuck on this thing. I can't get off this. Uh, uh, I am stuck. I have, I have buggered this up badly. Oh, no. I guess we wait for me to die because I literally couldn't get off that. Nothing I could do would disengage with it. So go nearby. We shouldn't be too far away. Did that look like 238,000 XP lost? Right. I I am not pressing that thing again. It looked like I was supposed to activate it as part of the quest. We should have a friendly zombie up there somewhere. Oh, there we go. He's caught up. We'll go in this way. Hang on a sec. I'm just gonna just gonna scrap some junk. And create some more of these. Oh, I hope it's not a dead end, is it? No, it should be good. Right then, in we go. Where is the evil Mr. Mark? That needs killing. Oh god, that scared me. I won't interact with it yet. I'm going to go and kill off everything that's in a base first. Do you know what? I haven't seen where the enemy um, mark is. Can't tell what the hell's up here. There's a guy with a pistol, apparently. But I'll be buggered if I can see where he is to shoot him. What's he game? Is there a guy down there? We don't know. Is he in this way somewhere? That looks like a dead end. That leads to nothing. I see, I see him. Hmm. 
What's this like for taking down walls? Shotgun's surprisingly good at taking down walls now. We got uh, warehouse armor. So, all there is to do... Can I not... Really? Can I not get through there? Where are these guys spawning from? Because I thought I destroyed everything. Unless it was by that one back there and it was just really throwing them out quite some distance. It could be that. Right, I need to go find that um, that handle. And what do we do here? Inspect. That it? Yep, that's it, I think. I'll just get those. Okay, that was, um... Oh, we're not done. I feel like there is something left here that's still generating these damn things. Right then, off back to base. Hand in the quest. We now have flaming walls. Then to Pedro. And then back to the snowy area. There is a surprisingly large amount of stuff to do in this game. Including always scrapping the junk. There's so much of this that we gather up. Anyone playing? Have you taken the, the talents that increase your carrying capacity? Because I'm thinking that I might have actually... Not that it's a massive downside, but... Oh, God, hang on. Oh, that's just a sign. It's okay. I thought it was that uh, no-name guy with a, with a quest again. So, off back to base. Actually, I'll go and see Pedro first. Then go back to base, in case Pedro gives us something. I don't think he will. I think it's just a, just a, um, a skill point. Oh, you found a pair of knives. Have we got any more? Look, you're not trying to get something for nothing, are yes, you? Yes, <laughs> apparently I was. Right then, skill point time. Uh, we're going in because I want the free army. That's what I really want. What's complete control and transcendent control? Just before you die, you automatically take control. I don't know about those. I might have to try them, but I don't know about them. This is the zombie reload stuff. Yeah, go on. I'm going to take that. And then I think I need two more points to get the free army. So what I might do, reset that. I'll take Nurse for extra healing. And then that gives me one more point to go in rapid reload for the zombies. And then I definitely want free army. And then we'll see what uh, that does. I don't have to create hacking helmets ever again. That's going to be awesome. I need to talk to him. Why do I need to search the bush? Talk to Mylan? I have loads of stuff to do over here. What? Okay, I have... I think I need to go and search the bush. But... Ignacio first. There's a load of quests here. There's loads of stuff to do. I thought we were getting towards the end of all this. But it seems the quests uh, are multiplying. The further into the game we get. Here's the guy. Now we've beaten Ivy. <laughs> it's about time we celebrated our victory. Oh, I know the perfect oh. dish. Christmas goose. I know it's not the season, but that doesn't matter. We've got a great excuse to celebrate. The Christmas truffle goose. I bet I don't have all the... It won't show me here, will it? I bet I don't have all the recipes to cook that. 
Oh, was that Sage? Right, back to base, and then we're going on the quest trail again. Sorry, I just had something stuck to the top of my lip. It was annoying me. A bit of fluff, I think, off my jumper. Right Did then. See? Did you we see what? It. Now, tell me how it works. Quick about it. I can hear zombies heading this way. Good, good. I see. A valve here, a pipe there, and that should do it. Let me just copy this down. Now, take the plans and let's get building. A pyro lever. So we need a lever as well. Oh, there's a zombie coming in. Yeah, okay. This, this base needs some love and attention, doesn't it? I'm not going to lie, I don't think these axe traps are really worth the bother. But what I could do is I could have like an extra layer of defences out here. In front of the base, couldn't I? I absolutely could. Because the main attacks come from down there. Hmm. If only I could have a gate. A gate would be really nice. Tell you what we'll do. Let's let's do some building stuff here. Give me give me some walls. We have loads of power. So what we want is to stop these things coming in from the side. We don't want them sneaking through this. I don't know if there's a way of actually Preventing them. That looks like the closest I can get there. Oh, we can go. I saw a, I saw a green spot there. Will it go across? What we want is some sort of funnel, actually. Actually, let's connect it on there. There we go, and we can we can remove those. Let's make it tricky for them to get in anywhere. They might just get trapped behind there, though, if I do this. But I'm thinking of putting traps in there as well, so... Um, maybe we don't need this one. We don't need the ones at this side. Let's interact, move... I just build a build a whole thing across. It's what we want to do. What my what my cunning plan is going to be. Let's move that one as well. I know what's going to happen here. <laughs> I know what's going to happen. They're gonna go around the side of that, so let's 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 move this. Can we go on the edge of that guy? Will it will that fit in? There. So they can't possibly get around that, can they? I wouldn't think so. Oh that looks good. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Move all crafting buildings and power generators inside and just build or move them outside and just build inside. They, they don't seem to go after the, the crafting stuff, do they? So there is the potential for that. But I think we can put more... I think we can have... We can have loads more stuff here, actually. There is there is more room for this. Let's, um... If I, yeah, I'll move some traps outside and we can have all this just trapped to hell. So what I do want to do is make sure this is... Can I do this as a double wall? Just to make sure this is awkward as hell to get through. Let's put it up like um, like that there. So I don't think we're gonna hit. We're not gonna hit our power limit off this. No way. So double walls. 
Oh, that didn't that didn't go on. How annoying. There we go. So they've got to hit through two of those. They won't go through those in the middle because there's there's no reason for them to. There's nothing. There's no benefit to that. We think. Also, I'm just going to make sure there's going to be. I've walled myself in. <laughs> right. So th there's no there's no way they should be trying to get in there. And they should go around it. They should go around it. They won't necessarily go around it. But what we're going to have... Let's, let's, let's wall that in as well. Cool. Is there a way of doing this down here? They can't really get through there. These bits were, have always been weak, haven't they? Around here. So that definitely needs some some extra protection on the inside. No, but I can do it on the outside. I think there's a trap under there, so that's probably the end of that. There we go. We've got extra protection. Can I go on that one? No, that's that's fine. I think that's fine. Right, let us build some proper traps. And then we can also have uh, guys on wheels down here activating them. Which we will do. And those are like a second level of defense. There is a zombie on this now working overtime, so that's good. Uh, let's just put his extra... Can I get a wall in there? I can't. Okay, I'm not going to do any more of that because I have accidentally walled those guys in before and then they can't get to the wheels to turn them on. So, we want buildings, escape, buildings. Uh, the axe traps I don't know about, but let's have a look at these flame traps. Swinging axes. We've, where are they? Can be used to add a flame throwing effect to nearby traps. Okay. Oh, we need a gas lighter. Oh, that's not funny game. Don't go and tell me, hey, you can go and build this new thing now if I can't actually build a new thing now. So I'm not going to be able to fill this place absolutely full of traps. That is super, super annoying. A horizontal saw fixed to a wall that can chop all your problems in half requires a lever to be activated. Is that a lever? Right, that's fine. So how is this going to work then? It's going to work like that, I suspect. <laughs> uh, let's see, will that fit? Holy crap. Uh, we can't get one going in there. Oh, we can. Nice. If anything wants to come in there, it's going to get seriously chopped up. Can we put it on the other side? Just to extend that out a bit. Doesn't seem to want to join in on that one. Right, this is going to use... This is filling up with the power quite quickly. Hee <laughs> hee! This looks fun. Right, can we add those onto... Probably not because of the spike traps, I'm going to guess. Well, these guys have to come running up there. They, they can't get in any other way, so... Where does that work? If, if anyone wants to really come in, this, this could absolutely shred them. Couldn't it? Do we need to close it a bit? How about if I run away? And what if I put it on that angle? How, wow, I can't believe how fast this is filling it up, actually, for power. And then if they get through all of that, they still got to get through the axes.
what I could do with is just go in here, I think, for the simple reason that they um, they do come running down there. Can I close that off or not? This looks amazing. Can I, can I add a one just in the middle of nowhere as well? I can. Actually, can I do can I do that? As long as we can get in. <laughs> and what I want is probably. I mean, they still if they get through all that, they still have to go through all the right. Let's try. They might get in here to do this, but I'm going to put up another pylon in. Um, also a lever. Put one there. It makes it a little bit trickier for me to get in, but I'm, I am fine with this. We put one in here in the way. Shame we can't fit it in the woods just over there. Does that lever not cover? I think that lever covers that one, doesn't it? It looks like it does. Nice, I can put one in the back of there. So as long as they don't go attacking my um, pylons... We put one of these here. Or maybe even in there. It's a bit more protected in there, isn't it? I'm going to stick it. This looks like a very ill thought out idea to me. <laughs> I'm going to stick it there. And I'm going to see if I can extend it to cover that other one. I think I can. And then the zombies, we're going to have dancing armor on. And nothing in there, because these are just going to be to activate both in and out of combat. And then we want, we always want two of those. Actually, I'm going to put it on three. And then I'm also going to have, let's have some combat zombies. What can we have? Shredders. Let's have shredders. Shredders with chainsaws. Shredders with chainsaws sounds amazing. Uh, with full pylon raiders. And they're onto... They're onto... Actually, they don't need to be so much for this. They want to be using... Uh, patrolling... Hurrying? That's it, I think. Oh, and taunting. Do they have taunt? They have intimidate. Intimidating combat. We'll take hurry off. No taunt? Well, hurry then. Uh, you guys. You don't want to be patrolling, but you do want to hurry. So is everything going? Yeah, they are. Nice. And then we're going to build some flame traps. But as these are now working as well. Did I put the number of zombies on that one? On number two. I didn't. Oh, that's getting a bit expensive. I guess we're going to be down to one then. I can't believe I've used all that power up already. So that's my first outer layer of defense. <laughs> We'll see what it does. But the stuff has to get through all that, which I'm sure it will. Then it has to get through all this. And what we'll probably do is we'll remove some of the, I don't know, 
The axe traps don't seem to be as... I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's as good. But uh, we'll see what else we can get later. And we'll get some better stuff. I'm tempted to sort of seal him in, but then he does need access. They do need to be able to get to the pylon, don't they? There we go. I think that's looking good. I can't believe it used up all that power. I thought I have loads of power here. But no, it's, it, it went down surprisingly fast. No flame traps, though. <laughs> it's so nice that we don't trigger the traps. I should have had a repair zombie running around as well, maybe. Nah. We'll try that one out. So next off... I'm going to go and uh, speak to the guy in the bush, because this is about... Yeah, this is going to be to do with uh, the the horrible woman that chased the one in the wheelchair off, I think. I still want to go and collect those. Hi. I need your help. After your friend taught Mylan how to hack zombies, she's strengthened the defences in all her camps, and I want to grab some of my belongings. When I escaped, I didn't bring anything with me. In fact, I'd very much like to get my garden gnome. Of all the things. Wilson was with me before the zombies. Before the world went mad. Before my land became a tyrant. I know it sounds a bit silly, but I'd really like to get him. I'll mark the camp where my land is hiding it on your map. I've managed to short-circuit the pylons, but uh, I'd rather not risk going inside. This sounds slightly insane now. We will get the sage seeds. Okay. Sage seeds might be useful if we need to create um, more bandages. And I suspect we will. So I need to go to here. There's no easy quick shortcuts, is there? So we'll have to go this way around. Talk to Mylan. And then we're going to get a garden gnome. Really? Oh, was I supposed to... Did I have a rocket path that I not add to the flipping thing? I might have had. There's a central rocket segment. There was a rocket window, I think. I don't think I've added that. And a rocket... I don't even know if I added the rocket door. We might be, like, most of the way towards building a rocket. Ha! My base looks better than yours. Useless Zombots. I tried to teach them to cut wood. I was thinking, if a child can do it, surely they can too. But obviously not. Soon as I turn my back, it hacked through one of its own. So now my chainsaw is ruined and I need a replacement part. If you find it, I'll let you copy my chainsaw plans. We all need useful tools in these times. You'll find it in the camp next door. And if you can destroy the camp, that would do me a favour. It was that paradise billionaire's idea. He wanted me to live there. Luckily, I said no. <laughs> right, so we're going to get the rare chainsaw. This was a tool designed in old Texas for massacres. <laughs> You know, I've never, ever seen the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. There's even a game of it out now, but um, it didn't look all that good from what I saw of it. Right then, come on, we'll go and do a little bit of questing around the, the swamp. Oh, no, those... Oh, now, once we get those pumps built, if it adds fire effect to all the spikes and everything, if it doesn't cost us any extra power... That is going to be amazing. Can we just, like, ignore this guy? Because I don't really want to fight across a bridge because it's, uh, it's just a mess. We'll keep going. There we go. The guy should follow me in. Are you not... Uh, this is all short-circuited, is it? So I'm looking for what? Well, not attacking me, so that's a good thing. There's Wilson. 
Yeah. He did say he managed to short circuit the uh, things, didn't he? <laughs> Holy crap. There's a bit of a gathering at the front door. Look at that. Legendary shotgun. It's not the gun, it's the person who uses it that's the legend. Some black powder. It's weird how the game calculates its air of effect stuff. See, when there's just one in front, it only does like partial damage. I'd rather it calculated it in the way that the guy in front takes the entire blast of shot and buckshot coming out of this rather than. Um, Say it counts as like 20 pellets come out, each target takes one pellet worth of hit. I'd rather, if you were point blank range, it calculated that that person took all 20 pellets worth of hit. Do you know what I mean? Like it, it does, it, it has a cone effect, and it just hits every target in the cone, basically. That's, that's how it works at the moment. But at point blank range, you should be able to upload the entire flipping lot into one target for a really quick killing blow. Did we get the guy in there? I'm not sure where all these guys have come from. Right, are we done? No, seemingly we are not. Just more and more of these things. Holy crap. Well, I'm glad I have the shotgun to hand. We've got him now. Surely to God, we've got him. Destroy the pylons. Recover the spare new matter. That's a different quest. Okay. Just getting some black powder and stuff. There's some herons and stuff there. They've gone. No, they haven't gone. Oh, so they dropped scrap. All right. I thought they were going to drop meat for us. Whew. Wilson, the volleyball from the movie Castaway. Oh, right, of course. It's been years since I've seen Castaway, but I have seen the Family Guy sort of spoof clip of it. Well, I don't know, what's he? Yeah, yeah, with the Wilson ball with a, with a, a hole for a mouth, <laughs> who was apparently a very good company while being cast away on that uh, island for so long. Can't think what that would have been used for. Right, are we going back to see... Oh, wait, is he just... Is he here? Does he spawn right next to us when we do the quest? Black powder, thank you very much. I wouldn't mind an alternative healing recipe. He's in the bushes! <laughs> oh, thanks for saving, Wilson. Amazing. It means a lot to me that you took the time to do it. I owe you... Now go and put some clothes on. No one wants to see your scabby nipples running around out here. Right, so now we're going across the place to here. And then back to Milan. And then we'll hopefully have this area more or less done. Ignore them. We don't need them. We're not fighting the snake again. So what are we likely to be facing in here? Go away. Latch pulleys, bike wheels, no wire. That looks like a gas can, is it? Yeah, we've already got loads of those. A bandage. What I really need... Oh, this isn't there. We're not there. Oh, yeah. I thought I saw something different then. 11k.
Hang on. Where's going to be the safest way in? Have I not been in here already? Let's just make sure there's no... Nothing we... Can I... Target that, please? <laughs> I'm just coming through with a shotgun now. <laughs> I feel like I'm trashing the place. I need the mace, don't I, for this bit? Well, we're in now, so that's that's the thing. Let's uh, switch to one side. I think we'll, we're going to do this side. Is that the? Where? Oh, that's one from there. You got one behind? Oh, you can stay out there. Don't need him. I feel like I've been in here before. Swamp armor, bullets. Wilson, in the movie, his mouth and eyes were painted on. Leave it to Family Guy to take it to the next level. Yeah, whatever they do, they, they take things just that little step further. Sometimes a step too far. Right, what have we not destroyed in here, then? We, uh, actually, we've done it. We can leave now. We don't need to kill everything. Oh, well, if we don't need to kill everything, we shall move on. I'll grab some stuff on my way out. Might just get this this sunken chest here just because we're in the area. No? Engine oil. A lot of stuff we don't really need at this point, but <coughs> we'll take it anyway. My guys are intent on trashing that place. I don't know whether I should be picking up all that valerian. I've no recipe for it yet, but... Because it's there, it must be useful for something, right? Oh, you can't kill the ones on the bridges. It's, it's crazy. You, would, you should be able to hit them. Right, she should be... Somewhere I've run past her. Somewhere down the other side. Here we go. Quest hand in time. Oh, it seems the world isn't just full of useless idiots. Enjoy your new chainsaw. Can we craft a better one? We've got the rare chainsaw. Um, is it... That's the rare mace. What does it come under then? It's not the last thing. Just a minute. Let me just scrap a lot of stuff here. The, where, the warehouse armor head. But I've got... Oh, I didn't know I'd pick this up. Right, equip that. That is a better piece of head armor. I um, maybe have missed some more, have I? No, we haven't. That's fine. So, it tells me I've got a rare chainsaw. I don't see a rare chainsaw in my inventory. Do you? Weird. I need your help. It's the anniversary of my sweetheart's disappearance. I wanted to place some flowers on his grave, but the cemetery's very dangerous. 
would you do it for me? We get some blueprint for a metal bolt. Okay, I think it's probably worth doing. Oh, it was a recipe? Ah, okay, thanks guys. Okay, that makes sense then. So we now make a better chainsaw. We'll have a look at that at camp. And this will give us better... Actually, we're not using a crossbow, so... Where do I need to go? And... Where's the cemetery? Okay, it would be up there. Enjoy your chainsaw that uh, I'm not going to give to you. I'm just going to give you some plans and you can go and build your own. Because we're all accomplished engineers around here, right? We'll go to the heart of the muddy forest and then just head north. We should get straight there. I want to see what the chainsaw is like. I like the basic one. So I could see me getting used to uh, something a bit better. Ignore them, they can't see us in the dark. Back, beast! Back! It can't be as simple as that. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, it wasn't as simple as that. They're not quite clumped up enough for my shotgun to go to work on. I'm not hitting them, the ones around this corner. Any more in there? The cheek of it. Do you think that was a trap? Oh, hang on. We've got some more friendlies. Right, let's gather all that lot up. There should be a huge amount of black powder. Shame I can't make bandages out of black powder and cloth. Right, it looks like this guy here has something to say about this. I think I just used... I think I, I maybe pressed the wrong button and used some of my anti-damage potion. What are you doing there? Don't tell me Mylen sent you to place flowers on her hamster's grave. Should have known. It's a suicide mission. Except for you, apparently. This guy gets around, doesn't he? Talk to Mylan. Back we go. I'll just take that pulley. Come on, aim. Aim better. It's a shame you can't give your zombies the uh, the rare weapons and the enhanced weapons and stuff. That would be kind of cool. It would make them a lot more effective, wouldn't it? You've done it. Oh, my sweetheart can rest in peace now. Thank you. Oh, uh, are we done? Is that it? Whoops. Right, let's... Head back to base. Try out the weapons. There's nothing... Oh, apart from handing in a Twinkie. I can't remember what we got for that. We will do it at some point. But I'll maybe wait till I've got like a handful to go and deliver to him. I can't remember what he gave us. I'm sure you guys know. Right, do we have to do any repairs? We have to do some repairs. 
Uh, let's go and... Your rocket is in danger. There are lots of wild zombies hanging around the camp. You'd better Upgrade. get rid of them. With a rocket door. Uh, crap. Now, we also got a window, I think, didn't we? The rocket window. Yeah, so there's two pieces that we've never put on. I don't think there's anything more than that. We need a rocket cockpit. You do realise, mate, that you're telling me how to build this rocket and there's only going to be room for one of us in it. Maybe he knows that and that's the plan. That he's going to take it. We can't upgrade this, can we? What do we need? Precision tools. But we can craft... Let's see what we can craft. We can craft... Um, I can't... I can do the rifle, but couldn't use it, so there's no point. Melee, there should be a chainsaw. The rare chainsaw. We need... Oh, okay, I need a common chainsaw, but I also need a saw chain. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem to find a common chainsaw. I just need to remember to, to come and get one. And, oh, what is that? That is the rare, we have a rare machine gun. Oh, yes, we, we've, we've moved on beyond that. The legendary machine gun. I'm going to craft this now and then take it with me, although I can't use it yet. The DPS is 2,000. That sounds like a lot. Damage per shot is not so much, though. Well, let's craft the damn thing, then it's done. Uh, that one, we're not ready. Because I need. What do we need? We need a rare composite bow, which is that one. And I still need the wire. Let me just dump some crap into this. I wish there was a quick way of doing this one. I really do. The rare mace. I'm, I'm keeping the rare weapons on me, I think. Stones. Black powder. Lots of black powder. I've still got plenty of ammo, right? Yeah, that's fine. That is a common revolver. Don't need it. Don't really need that. Oh, we've got a large pump. Right. Move that in there. Yeah, the armor can definitely move in. The engine oil we can leave here. Was there some more? The swamp armor. Let's just let's just switch to ar oh we can't switch to armors. Why can we not switch to armors? We can because I've got none. Assume no, I can. Okay. I don't know why it wouldn't let me. How strange. So that's okay. Uh, I might put a flamethrower in the camp because we don't need these with us, right? I don't need them with us. And the bats and stuff. I'll put them in the camp. At some point, I might destroy them. Okay, I think we're good there. Oh. Seeds. More of that stuff. And a repair kit. Two bicycle wheels. Good God, we carry some rubbish around. Right, okay. I would say... I would say we're done there. And that's a good place to leave it. I was going to stop at half four anyway. Uh, because I'm, I'm uh, going out to see the new Dune movie tonight. I'm really looking forward to it. So I think we'll leave things there. And we will catch back up with this on Monday next week. So you guys have a great weekend. I've got some more content releasing on the Let's Play channel over the over the weekend. I should have an episode of the Civil War game, Ultimate General, and an episode of News, News Tower. It's an amazingly fun, simple newspaper simulator. And also two episodes of uh, Hearts of Iron USA campaign. So if you guys are interested, you know where to find it. There should be some links uh, under wherever you're watching. And um, yeah, I will enjoy June. Thanks, T-Pode. Should be good. Have a great weekend, and I will catch you on Monday. Bye for now.